Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Charity Banda. I'm a hospitality management graduate student. Today I'm at the Tababusibu Cultural Village in Lesotho. Tababusibu is a national monument and Lesotho's foremost tourist destination, holding great historical significance of the Basotho people. And Tababusibu is located 24 kilometers away from the capital city of Lesotho, which is Maseru. Today, I'll be doing a virtual tour of the cultural village in order to attract both national and international tourists, as this will help the tourism and hospitality industry recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. So I'll be going to the museum. I'll be doing a tour at the museum. I'll also get to tour the cultural village. And lastly, I'll also get to indulge in the local cuisine. Follow me. And right now we're standing next to the statue of Moshesha I. He is the founder of the Basoto as the nation and he was born in 1786 and he died in 1870. He moved to the Tababusubu mountain as his fortress. And now we'll move along to the cultural village as that is the replica of how everything was like at the mountain. So the first house that you will find when you get to the village is the Takane. Girls back then did not stay with their families, but they all stayed at Taganing, as that is the place where they were being taught and guided on how to behave as they grow up to be women. From Taganing, we move along to Manneko's household. Manneko was Moshesha's second wife, as he had 140 wives. Now, each and every queen was supposed to have three houses. The first house was for the queen, the second house was for the servants and the third house was where the queen would keep food for the king. Now as we get to enter Manneko's house, we get to see what's inside. If you look at the wall, you see that there's a wall unit called a moholwane. That's where they keep their cooking utensils and food. We get to see the moseme, which is the grass mat where the woman would sit. And we also get to see the alo chairs where the men would normally sit. The Basotho Nation is one in very few that can trace its origins to a single geographic point on the map. The Tababusubu Mountain Fortress holds a very rich history of the formation of the Basotho Nation, and the Cultural Village Site Museum provides the visitor with an exciting, interactive, multimedia presentation of the National Monument. Besides learning about the formation of the Basotho Nation, the Site Museum contains interesting and informative display of Basoto cultural heritage as well as its colonial and post-colonial history. And last but not least, we got to taste the local food. We have papa. Papa is stiff porridge made from maize. And then we have nyekwe. Nyekwe is a combination of beans, sorghum and pumpkin. We have mogobu which is pumpkin. We also have moroho. Moroho is leafy greens. It could be spinach or rape or herbs such as stinging nettle. We also have dikahare. Dikahare is tripe or in intestines of an animal. It could be of a cow or a sheep. We also have lhotrane. Lhotrane is stewed meat. It could also be beef or lamb. And lastly, we have lekakarane. Lekakarane is spent layered chicken. The COVID-19 pandemic has incurred a substantial economic and social impact around the world. Many sectors have been drastically affected, but the tourism and hospitality industry was one of the hardest hit by the COVID-19 outbreak globally. The economic impact includes financial loss, reduction of national and international tourists, disruptions in the logistics and distribution channels, and millions of jobs were at risk. The social impact include depression, irritation, anxiety, and stress, as people were uncertain about the present and future conditions. In Lesotho, the travel and tourism sector contributes 13.4% to the GDP and 11.9% of total employment. However, according to the Lesotho Tourism Development Corporation, no revenues were generated in the sector during the months of March 2020 and April 2020 due to the COVID-19 response measures. 
Visiting the Tababsu cultural village will not only be a great experience, but it will socially and economically boost the tourism and hospitality sector, as jobs will be created, the, infra the infrastructure of Lesotho will be developed, and the local traditions and customs will be kept alive. The Lesotho borders are open, and now is the best time to pack your bags and take the journey to the kingdom in the sky. Hope to see you soon.